My hair looks stupid. Okay. Hi, Collective. Happy Monday. Yay. Today was my first day back at work for two weeks, so that was fun. Bit of a different pace. I had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to pick up my dad and my brother from our train station, too, so wow, differentness? A little bit. Okay, so this week we are discussing... I think I say discussing too much. It sounds too much like disgusting. This week we are talking about YouTubers who inspired us or YouTubers we watch or YouTube series, etc. Alright, so I'm going to get on my subscriber list. So I just realized I'm subscribed to 85 different channels, so let me go through and pick my favorite people. So without looking at those 85 people, I can probably say that the Vlog Brothers are number one, Charlie is so cool like, Naramon Sarcastics, uh, blah, 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 blah. Lindsay Williams, Potter Moosh, I think is her channel name, um, probably Bellier, Bellier, she's a very oddly spelled channel name. And let me go look at the other 79 and see if I can spot some others. I'm probably missing some pretty big ones, so one second there. Alright, just from browsing through, Big Mouth Not At All, uh, Geek and Sundry, Wheezy Waiter, and then Always Wheezy, his other like random second and third and fourth and millionth channels. I don't watch those all the time, but I do like Wheezy Waiter most of the time. Some of his really scripted... Uh, videos I don't really care for. I do like his vlogs because he's a bit weird and I like watching weird people which sounds weird. Oh my gosh I cannot believe I forgot Zay Frank. Okay to be fair he is at the bottom of my subscriptions list but he is fantastic. If you don't take or watch any of the people I just said you should watch Zay Frank because he's like the YouTube God, pretty much. Oh my gosh, his videos are incredible. He, I just can't even describe it. He was a huge inspiration for the Vlog Brothers. They talk about him at, at least like 10 times over the course of their reign on YouTube. So definitely, definitely watch Zay Frank. Just watch Zay Frank. I also really like booktubers. I really like books and quills and the readables. I'm still trying to find some other higher quality booktubers because some of them are... They just talk about really trashy books and like books that I don't care about or just crappy books. So, oh, oh, Spiffingly Chino is also a really good booktuber. So there's three that I really like. The Readables, Books and Quills, Spiffingly Chino. Those are fantastic booktubers. If you don't know what a booktuber is, it's just a person who talks about books. So that's a thing that you now know. Good job. I have like a bagillion people that I could just go on and on about, but I really also like Michael Aranda and um, Alsei Hoot. I cannot remember her name right now, but she is entertaining. Sometimes I kind of have to be in the mood. She's kind of fashion-y, doesn't really talk about super interesting things all the time. Alright, so those are all the people, well, those are the people I can mention within four minutes, I do believe. Uh, I could, I have 85 subscriptions and I watch more than that, but I love YouTube and I love watching all the people. So, if you have any questions about people or if you want me to list or, you know, tell you any of the people I said, uh, let me know down there and I will inform your brain. Alright, Dan, I will see you tomorrow.